Today we're going to set up a get response campaign. Um, this is the dashboard of get response. So once you've logged in to get response, uh, this is the dashboard you will see. Um, the first thing you want to do is go over to here and the drop down menu all the way to the bottom that says create campaign. Create a campaign, the next window will come up. Over here on the right are some parameters that you must follow in order to name your uh, campaign. Uh, I'm going to go with Jamie's lead funnel create campaign. Oh, error already exists, so we're going to change it to call it leads funnel with an S. Jamie's leads funnel. There, your campaign was successful. So that's how easy it is just to create a campaign. Now the next thing we want to do is edit the campaign settings, which is the big button right here. In the general tab, it shows you the name, your preferred language. Uh, leave this off. If you want to know what it's about, here's the, the uh, information. Uh, this stays on. Uh, there's the email address they'll get sent to. And that's it. You don't change anything there. We don't change anything on this either. We go all the way down to the permissions. Very, very important. These two things need to be unchecked. Uncheck, uncheck. And at the bottom, this uh, gray area here says settings is updated because it does it automatically. As If I check it, it says settings updated. Check it off, settings updated. So there's no saving involved. Immediately, uh, it, it uh, changes the settings. So these two, all three of these boxes, unchecked. And then you're ready to uh, move on. That's how you create a campaign and you're ready to rock. Take care. Bye.